I just got drops of Paka Yarns package from knittedhome.com. They are 30% off until the end of this year at many online stores. I got these drops of Paka Bukwe to make my winter pocket hat that I've been planning. But I couldn't get everything I wanted because too many colors were, were out of stock due to the discount. I'm going to make a bucket hat arranging these colors. I haven't decided which particular method I'm going to use or the details of the hat's design. I only have this concept in my head, so we'll see how it would turn out. These are drops brushed up Akasu in sage green color, 30% off as well. I got this to make a cumulus blouse by Bitinit. I was always so curious about this yarn and I wanted to try it for my project someday. And my favorite sage green color, which I've never seen it in stock, was in stock so I had to get it. I brought some leftover drops kit silk I have in sage green color to show you the difference from brushed alpaca silk. They look alike in camera but kit silk is more yellowish and brushed alpaca silk seems to have short dense hair and kit silk has longer and thinner hair. <laughs> I'm working on the body of this marriage cardigan. This is my gauge swatch. The thing is, it is not turning out as the swatch in the actual garment. It tends to go larger than the swatch. It got already too big when I still need to work maybe two more repeat of the color work chart. And the stitches are not even throughout the work. I think it is my knitting tension problem, but I don't know how to fix it and I just don't know how to do with this project as I started to be not liking it. I'm in this knit along group working Marit, which is hosted by Hannah Knit. And since I've been not liking my work, I get to compare my work to other people's beautifully done color works or pictures of finished cardigan seam in the group chat. And this made me stress and even guilty about my work for so much time I've spent on it and for the effort I put into to choose and order the yarn, which is another long and complicated story. I tried steaming my work as other knitters suggested, but it didn't change the gauge or, or its unevenness. And I'm still struggling with what I'm going to do about it because I doubt that it will turn out okay even if I work it all over again. And since I've started to compare myself to others, it really bothered me just to see people getting their FOs in a very short period of time, repeatedly in social media. Because I've started knitting this since early October and I devoted most of my knitting time to Marit Cardigan since then, I have no recent FOs at all and I started to think like what am I doing or what is wrong with me? I'm feeling a growing impatience and this made me plan for the future projects and buy more yarns instead of focusing on my current work in progress.
but I know buying too much yarn for the future projects that are not scheduled in detail, it will eventually make me feel emptiness even more because there will always be less self-calm or effort than what I imagined with the yarns when I buy them, unless I actually invest my time and effort to them. I think I should remind myself of why I started knitting in the first place and what I like about knitting. Because if I had just wanted to have some new fancy sweaters whenever I wanted, I could have just bought them. But knitting is not just about having more new sweaters or being able to wear in FOs. There is something more I value in the process of knitting itself. And lately I've been neglecting to respect the process of knitting. Even if I get to unravel this marred cardigan, it might not be like it was all for nothing so far. There would have been something I've learned from my first strand in knitting garment I made while I worked this much. I just want to remind myself not to focus so much on the number of FOs and not to compare my work with others and just enjoy the time in the process of knitting.